Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about recursive functions in Dart programming so recursion is nothing but a function calling itself so let us understand this with the help of examples so in the previous video we have seen that how we can declare a function having set of parameters and then we can call the function as well we can have the return type of the function as well so guys what we are going to do is we are again going to define another function that is add numbers and we are going to add the numbers that is 1 to 5 but before moving to recursion let us understand how we can add first 5 numbers using a formula so let's say we have a variable n and then the value of this n is 5 so this means that we want to add the first 5 numbers over here and then let's say we have another variable which is sum in which we will add those numbers and we will have the sum so we have the formula that is n multiply by n plus 1 so inside the brackets we have n plus 1 and then we have 2 guys this is a very simple arithmetic operation over here that we have done and since multiply is having more priority compared to addition so first we have to add n plus 1 and we are supposed to have it inside open and close brackets and then it will multiply by this number that is n and then the whole thing will be divided by 2 okay and then we have this semicolon and then let's say we have the print function over here and we write the sum of first five numbers is dollar sum semicolon let's save this file and try running this code i'll clear the screen so as you can see we have the sum of first five numbers is 15 let us understand this how we have added all those numbers so first one was added to two and then plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equal to so in this way we get 15 and the same way we have got the sum that is 15 guys another way to do this is in the for loop so what i will do is i will just have a variable sum which is not having any value or else let's say we have the value as 0 initially and then let's say we have a for loop and then we have a variable i which goes from 1 till i less than or equal to 5 and then we have i plus plus and then inside this open and close brackets we will have sum equal to sum plus i so what is happening over here is the sum will be every time updated by sum plus i so initially it is 0 and then 0 plus 1 so 1 will be assigned to sum and then in the next iteration i will become 2 now sum is 1 so 1 plus 2 it is equal to 3 and in this way until 5 all the numbers will get added and it will get stored in the variable sum and then in the end we can print the sum so we have the sum is dollar sum let's save this file and try running this code so the sum is 15 so over here again we are getting the same result that is 15 now guys how do we achieve this with the help of recursion so recursion is nothing but it is a function calling itself so let us understand this with the help of example so let's say we have the function which have the return type that is int and then we have the function as add numbers what we will do is we will take the number that is n over here and then open and close brackets okay so guys what we will do is first we will print this number n so value of n is dollar n this is important guys because you should know that after every call of this function what is the value so in this way you will understand the role of recursion and how important it is in programming so over here we have the value of n is dollar n and then what we will do is let's say we have the if condition so guys every time whenever you are having a recursion you should have a termination condition as well so initially this termination condition is always specified in the recursive function so that we come out of that recursion function so what we will do is let's say if n equal to equal to 1 then we have to return 1 so inside this curly braces we will have return 1 so whenever n is 1 we have to go back and we have to return this number 1 and then what we will do is we will call this function so guys this is the property of recursion that is a function calling itself from inside its body so guys over here what we will do is add numbers and then what we will do is n minus 1 we will have return over here and then we have the number n 
plus add numbers n minus 1 so guys i'll make you understand what this code will do but what we are going to do over here is the sum is dollar sum and let's say we have the variable sum over here which is doing nothing but it is calling add numbers with the first five numbers so let's say we have five over here so guys as you can see we have the void main function and then we have a variable sum what it is doing is it is calling this add numbers followed by a parameter that is 5 so this 5 value will be assigned to n so after this function is called the control will go over here at the add numbers variable n so value of n is 5 this will get printed and then is value of n equal to equal to 1 no in this case so it will not go over here but what it will do is it will come over here and then it will check that n is 5 and then again this function will be called from this body of the same function and this is the property that we call it as recursion but this time what we are doing is we are decrementing the number by 1 over here so 5 minus 1 it will become 4 in this case and then the value of n will be 4 and in this way we will go to 3 and then 2 and then again in the end it will be 1 so 1 will get printed and now the number that is n it is equal to 1 so it will return 1 so this function which was called in the end with the value 1 it will come over here with the value 1 but in this case the value of n was 2 when this function was called with the value n equal to 2 and in this way all the five numbers will get printed let us understand this by how these values will get printed on the command prompt so i'll save this file and try running this code okay so we have a semicolon which we have missed over here inside main function and save this file and try running this code so as you can see value of n is 5 so the very first time this function is called the value is printed that is n it is equal to 5 so n equal to 1 no in this case and then this will be called again with n equal to 4 now so the value of n is 4 now then 3 and then value of n is 2 and then in the end the value of n is 1 and now what is happening is if n equal to equal to 1 then return 1 so guys over here what's happening is n which is equal to 2 right now and we are getting 1 over here so return 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 and then it goes back over here the value of variable n is 3 in this case and then it is getting 3 again so to understand it more clearly what I have done over here is as you can see we have the return types as n plus add numbers n minus 1 so in the first case n it is equal to 5 then we move n equal to 4 then 3 then 2 and then when n it is equal to 1 the 1 is returned over here so when 1 is returned where it will get returned over here so this will get replaced by 1 and over here n is equal to 2 so n will get replaced by 2 so 2 plus 1 it is equal to 3 so this thing will get replaced by 3 and then n is also 3 over here so we will put 3 over here so 3 plus 3 is 6 so add numbers n minus 1 it will be replaced by 6 over here in which case n it was 4 so 4 will be over here so 4 plus 6 it is equal to 10 so this add numbers n minus 1 will be replaced by 10 over here and n was 5 so 5 we will put over here so 5 plus 10 will be returned in the very last instance over here 5 plus 10 which will be equal to 15 and that 15 value will be allocated to this sum variable and then the same value will be printed the sum is 15 and that is what we have seen over here the sum is 15 and in this way guys you can easily use the recursive function in order to achieve any kind of requirement that you want with the help of recursive function characteristics so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on the upcoming video videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is class in dart programming so stay tuned